Well, the first time I worked cabaret in London was last May. It was at the Gargoyle Club. And uh, I didn't know it was a, a strip club upstairs and a nightclub downstairs. Never having been into one of these places before, I walked in and, uh, and I saw this projection room at the side here and uh, these doors, and I thought it was a cinema, you know, where they showed pictures. <laughs> I think there's such a lot to see in London that I would like to see. It's just finding the time. Never seen Buckingham Palace, you know, and uh, I, I think I, I shall get round to going down to have a look at it one of these mornings. And uh, if, I, if, I, if I stand outside long enough, I might see her at the window. <laughs> Never ever seen the London Palladium before. I thought it was going to be a little place like the City of Varieties. <laughs> <laughs> When I walked in, it was massive. Of course, I went in the back door, you see, and it didn't look so big from there. <laughs> oh, I've done lots and lots of jobs, you know. I, I think uh, the trouble is I've been looking for the right type of employment for a long, long time, and I've tried that many jobs. Now I feel that I've found it. Many a many a time I've gone into agents' offices, you know, and they say, what do you do? I say, well, uh, I sing and uh, I play the banjo and... Uh, uh, I tell jokes and things like that, you know, and they say, yes, well, uh, leave your address and uh, we, we'll sort something out for you. And then I'd still be asking them months and months later and they were still sorting something out that never came. <laughs> you know, it's just one of those things you slog and slog and you think, oh, I'm never going to get off the ground at all. To get on in show business, I think there's a certain amount of luck involved. Uh, being in the right place at the right time and of course somebody coming along that um, knows what they're looking for. Uh, I've been to many an audition and uh, rhubarb each time, <laughs> nothing doing. <laughs> oh, I just carried on working the clubs and more or less hoped that uh, somebody would see me. Of course my manager put me in these places uh, where they knew that uh, a certain person would be as well. Mikey was inviting me along to a shop and there were, uh, there were about 30 or 40 acts auditioning for the same job. So I went along and uh, did a little bit of comedy and uh, a couple of banjo songs and got it. Uh, my very first banjo was about three years ago and um, I was playing Simon in that. Uh, I think I had about three words to say in it. <laughs> like, oh, puss has fallen down the well and that was me finished. <laughs> So I never had a chance to um, shine at all, you know, or impress an audience. Consequently, I wasn't invited back. 